Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Wyatt, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a falling asteroid on Roblox. Okay, so this script is a little bit more complex to make, but if you follow along, you'll be able to figure it out pretty easily. Before I show you how to make the script, I just want to show you how it works. So if we click Run, as you'll see, an asteroid will spawn, and it will fall to the ground. Okay, so now that you know what the script does, I want to show you how to make it and how it works. So, the first thing that we want to do is actually create our asteroid. So, all we have to do is create a new part in Workspace. And I'm just going to scale it up just a little bit to make it a big asteroid. We'll just change the color to a bit of a darker one. And we'll set it to concrete. I think that looks a lot like an asteroid, but we can actually make this two parts since it works using a model. And we can just set it like this, like a big rock kind of thing. I think that looks a lot like an asteroid. So what I'll do is I'm going to group both of these parts. And this is going to be our asteroid model. So I'm just going to give it the name of asteroid. And underneath of it, we need to set a primary part. So this will be the main part of the model. So I'm just going to name it main part. And then I'm just going to set that to the primary part, just like that. And we just have to make sure both of these are anchored, just because of the way the script works. And uh, yeah, so now what we're going to do is actually script the asteroid so it falls. So we create a new script under a server script service. And we can just name this asteroid script. And then we're going to put our asteroid model. We're going to move it from workspace to under this script so we have an easy reference to it. Now, this script, as I mentioned before, is a little bit more complex, but if you want to use the code, you can just get it right in the description, or you can follow along and type it in yourself. Uh, you have both options. So, let's get right into it. So, the way this script actually works is by tweening the asteroid, so it's anchored, and we choose a random position on the base plate and a random position in the sky, and set the first position to the position in the sky, and then tween it downwards towards the base plate. So, you know, the first thing we're going to have to do is actually create a tween model function. Okay, so I'm not actually going to type out all the code for the tween model function, since I got, actually got it from the Roblox developer wiki. So, I'll just copy it in, and you can get the code for this in the description. All it does is tweens the model over time. So let me just copy and paste that in. And then we also just need to include tween service up top. And we also need to get, have a variable called info just for this function to use. Okay, so now that we have the tween function, we can actually get into the code that will animate the asteroid. So the first variable that we're gonna want to define is the tween time. And that means the time that it will take from the asteroid to go from all the way up here to the position of the base plate. So right now I'm just going to say local tween time equals 2 since that's a relatively fast pace time um, and that will make it go you know, really fast towards the ground. We also need to define an asteroid height variable to say the height at which the asteroid will start at. So we'll say local asteroid height equals 150. Now we're going to work on defining the animate asteroid function. So we'll say function animate asteroid and then inside of this we're going to get the position of the base plate and the size of the base plate so that we're able to calculate the random position that we actually need to tween the asteroid to. So we'll say local base plate position equals game dot workspace dot base plate dot position and we'll also say local base plate size equals game dot workspace dot base plate dot size so now what we're going to do is calculate the random position in the sky that the asteroid will start at so we'll say local random x c frame equals math dot random and then we'll say, so we'll get the base plate position dot x, and then we'll subtract the base plate size dot x divided by 2. And what this math right here does is it says, so get the position of the base plate, which is right in the center, 
and then we're going to get the size and divide that by 2. So it'll give us this coordinate right here, or that coordinate right there. And then we'll also say we'll have our second parameter for the random, the upper end, say base plate position dot x, x plus base plate size dot x divided by 2. And that'll get the other end of the base plate. So we're getting a random number from all the x values in the base plate. And now we want to do the same thing, but we want to do it for the y-axis so that we have it in both directions. And it'll be a completely random spawn. So we just say local random y c frame equals math.random base plate dot position dot y, base plate size dot y, base plate position y, base plate size y. And now this will give us a position completely random here, 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 uh, up high. So now what we need to do is actually get the asteroid object itself. So we're going to say local asteroid equals script, which is this, dot asteroid, right there. And we'll clone that so that we can make as many as we want in the future. And we'll set the parent of that to workspace just so everybody can see it. Asteroid.parent equals game.workspace. And we're now going to set the primary part C frame to the, these two right here and the asteroid height. So, asteroid colon set primary part C frame to random X C frame, asteroid height, and random Y C frame. Not where I'm YC frame, I change that, my bad. It should actually be a random Z C frame. So all these should actually be Z's and not Y's. That was my mistake. And then we'll just set this to the Z. Okay, so now we have the starting position up high for the asteroid. And now we need to create the ending position. And it actually uses a lot of the same math to do this. So all we're gonna say is just copy this right here. And we're just going to change the names of these because so, we're going to do it again. And we're going to say x tween 2. And we're also going to set y tween 2. Er, sorry, not y tween 2. Keep making that mistake. z tween 2. Now we're actually going to use our tween model function to tween the asteroid to that second position. So we'll say tween model. And then we'll pass in the asteroid. And now we'll create a new C frame. And this will be the position we want to tween it to. And that'll be cframe.new, and then x tween 2, base plate position dot y, minus 10, just so it goes a little bit below the base plate, and then z tween 2. And now we're going to wait tween time before we destroy the asteroid, just so it doesn't destroy it while it's still in the air. And then we'll just say asteroid colon destroy. And that will actually just get rid of the asteroid. Now at the bottom we're going to call this function just so I can show you how it works. So we say wait one and then animate asteroid just like that. Oh, so it looks like I actually made another mistake. Before we run it what we have to do is say set primary part C frame, C frame dot new and then put this inside of here because we can't just specify the three arguments. And also before we run it, we just have to put a comma right here to separate these, not a period. And now we'll run it, and as you'll see, the asteroid will start up high, and it'll fall towards the ground. And we can run it again, and you'll see it'll move towards another random position. Thank you so much guys for watching. I hope you learned something new today about scripting on Roblox. As always, I'll have the Pesuin link and the Roblox model link for this in the description, and I'll see you later.